Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to today's video. Today we have a special series brought to you by Vulcan. Vulcan was kind enough to sponsor this video and send us for this series three different type of car carrier tie downs that we're going to show you how to use. Vulcan offers multiple tie down solutions for basically any vehicle that you have that you need to transport. For the duration of this three part series, we are going to be using the chain and chain hook assembly for our tie downs, but shown on screen here is some of the other tie downs that they offer. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and take these products out into the field, show you guys how to properly use them. And if you are interested in any of these products, please be sure to check down in the description below where you can find links to any of the products used in the video. When you click on the links below, that'll take you to Truck and Tow, which is their distributor for the Vulcan brand. So without further ado, I'd like to thank Vulcan for sponsoring this video and let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> In today's series, we are going to be using Vulcan's TH011 series, which is an eight foot long lasso style tie down system that actually goes around the tire, cradles the tire, and pulls the vehicle from four points to restrain the vehicle from rolling back and forth and side to side. The reason that I really like this system is one, it allows the vehicle to freely travel on its suspension. This is really good for reducing the shock load on not only your straps and your equipment, but also your vehicle. Shock load can do things such as crack the windshield and damage other components that we don't want to damage. So by allowing the vehicle to freely ride on its suspension, we reduce all that entirely. Additionally, one of the other reasons that I really enjoy this system is that it's a super versatile and very easy to use system. Not only can it tie down this tire, but it can also tie down many different types of tires. Now Vulcan has informed me that one of the issues that you might run into is that this, since the system is an eight foot long system, you could run into an issue with large off-road tires, but don't worry, Vulcan has a solution for you on that note. Now in today's particular video with this particular TH011 series, we are using Vulcan's Pro Series, distinguished by, you can see here on the strap, it does say Pro Series. As well on the website, it is in an orange color. That's how it's distinguished. The difference between the Pro Series and for example, the Classic Series, Series, is that the Pro Series has a thicker webbing designed with the strap. This thicker webbing allows for more cut resistance as well as more abrasion resistance. Because it is a thicker webbing, it will last you longer and hopefully reduce the amounts of cuts and tears that occur with your strap. Now with synthetics, it is inevitable that it will deteriorate over time go over sharp edges, stuff like that, and that will put cuts and tears into the straps. But with the Pro Series being a thicker webbing and has more cut resistance and abrasion resistance, the thought is that this will last you longer than a conventional classic style strap. Now that we've spoken about the TH011 series a little bit more in depth, the first thing we're gonna go ahead and wanna do before we start tying down this vehicle is we're gonna wanna ensure a few things. First, we're gonna wanna ensure that our vehicle is in park, and second, we're gonna wanna go ahead and ensure that the vehicle parking brake is set. You guys saw us do that, so we're set there. Next, we're gonna go ahead and want to ensure that the vehicle is centered on our trailer, both left and right, and front and back, depending on where you want it. In my case, I've chosen to center it above my drive axles and my trailer axles, as well as ensuring that it's in line with my tie down points, which is the chain anchor. Throughout the duration of this three-part series, we are going to be using some sort of synthetic, whether it be this one or a different, uh, two different style tie downs coming up. But we're also gonna to wanna to get in the habits of inspecting our synthetics. There's always a really good habit. Although this is a new strap, you always just wanna get in the habit of looking for any cuts, tears, anything that can degrade the life of this tie down or potentially break as you're going down the road. So this strap looks really good. Next, what we're gonna go ahead and wanna do is inspect our ratchet assembly here. Make sure it freely moves, no bolts, pins, anything like that has fallen out. Like I said in the intro, we are going to be using the chain and hook assembly for the duration of this three-part series because that is what um, my system, my trailers and uh, flatbeds use. But like I said, Vulcan can also set you up with any sort of system that you may need. But as, again, I'm also looking for the pins, making sure that the pins are, everything is in place and proper for this tie down to work. Okay, so now that we've inspected our equipment, the first thing we're gonna wanna do on the tire here is we're gonna wanna inspect it for any sharp edges around the rims, anything on the backside, any suspension components that could get in the way. Keep in mind that the strap system here, the TH011 goes around the back of the tire and comes out the front. 
goes through the ring and straight down. I'll show you that a little closer here coming up. Another thing to note on this uh, setup, and I'm kind of glad that this actually happened, we have the valve stem right here in the position where it's going to be pretty close, so we're going to want to make sure that that is not going to become an issue. We're going to have to uh, maneuver our way around that, but I will show you how to do that. Okay guys, now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and identify this uh, some of the parts of the strap. So this is going to be considered our universal ring end, and then the other side is going to be what we refer to as our slack end. So the first thing we're going to want to do right Right before we start doing this is we're going to identify where the strap is going to lay. So Vulcan recommends a 10 and 2 position. So what I mean by that is that picture your tire being a clock. So you have 12, 1, 2, 12, 11, 10. So that's going to be our 10 and 2 position. That's going to provide the best cradle for our tire ratchet tie down system. So with that being said, let's say you take it down to say here and here. You have your straps here and here. What can happen is that as you go down the road, your strap can work its way down. And as you can see, once it gets down to about this point, it's gonna loosen, defeating the purpose of this side of your ratchet tie down system. So what you wanna make sure and in, uh, ensure is that you have a 10 and two position. That's gonna provide the best cradle for your tire. Okay, so now that we've identified our 10 and two position, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is take our universal ring in. And for uh, video sake, I'm gonna make sure that our logos are facing out. But what we're gonna wanna do is take our universal ring in and go up over the tire with our right hand here. And we're gonna wanna have that strap in that 10 position. Okay, so as you can see, we're right in that 10 position with our ring. And the place that we're gonna wanna let the ring uh, end up is right about here. Basically center with the hubcap, but we're gonna wanna make sure it's a little bit above the hubcap. Uh, that way, when we start cinching this down, it pulls it relatively center, right about there. Okay, so next what we're gonna wanna do is take our other hand and with our other hand, we're gonna take our slack, make sure we're not in it, into any of the suspension components, and we're gonna take our slack, and we're gonna make sure we have no twists, no bends in the strap, so notice how I have a straight line there. With my strap end, we're gonna to wanna to take the slack end and feed it through the universal ring. Again, making sure that we have that two position on this side. Okay, so notice how we're in that 10 and two position. Um, again, we're not tight yet, so this is a good opportunity to make sure that everything's in order. So again, 10, two, but you'll notice that Vulcan includes this black protector that slides across the strap. So what this black protector is, is a wear protector. Vulcan includes this with their strap systems. And what this allows for is, say I move this vehicle many times, say this is my, well, it is my personal vehicle, but say that I move it multiple times throughout the week and I'm using this strap many times. So with this same size tire, this part of the strap is going to end up in this ring pretty much every single time. And so what this protector allows for is an additional piece of protection for when you use the strap over and over again. As you can see, this universal ring creates a uh, pinch point, which is normal, but it is going to degrade over time. And so in order to combat premature wear, what Vulcan does, they include this wear protector to put within this ring to uh, protect your strap in this pinch point. So what we're going to want to go ahead and do is take this wear protector and slide it down the strap. You'll notice that this can slide pretty much anywhere along the strap. And we're gonna go ahead and want to slide it down. And you'll notice that when we take this universal ring, and again, 10 and two, we're gonna be right within that wear protector. Okay guys, now that we have our strap relatively set up where we're gonna want it, I'm gonna bring you in a little closer to show you the setup right before we start tying this down. Okay guys, as you can see here, the Vulcan TH011 series, we have the universal ring end here, and we're taking the slack end from there up and over the tire, and you'll notice right through that gap in the, in the rim there that the strap actually goes behind the tire, comes out on this end and then you see it go through the universal ring again with the protector in place and we're coming down and this is our slack end and this is what we're going to use to put through the ratchet and tie down the whole system. Okay now that we took you in a little closer we're going to begin to use the ratchet to actually tie down this whole system. So first thing we're going to want to do is familiarize ourselves with this ratchet system. So the ratchet as you can see as you move this it turns this buckle right here and the strap will be through here and it'll begin to tighten down the whole system. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're going to want to attach your anchor point. 
In my case, again, we're using the chain anchor, but for your case, you might be using something different. But, but I would recommend go ahead and attach your attachment point within your vehicle. Okay, now that we have our ratchet secured to our trailer, first thing we're going to wanna do is, I always like to start from the universal end and just kind of run my fingers down this strap. That ensures that we have a straight inline pull straight down. What you don't wanna do, what you wanna avoid is having a twist, having any kinks in your strap. So that's going like this allows for a perfectly straight system. And what we're gonna to wanna to do is take our slack end, again, in a straight configuration, and we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and feed it straight through the ratchet. So notice how I'm going straight through the ratchet, and we're gonna go ahead and wanna pull some through, and then we're gonna take that slack end, and we're gonna feed it right back out the ratchet. Just like so. So as I said, we're going to want to make sure that we're attached to our attachment point, and we're gonna wanna go ahead and pull our slack end through. Okay, so you'll notice that I have my one hand holding the slack in. That'll leave me another hand to begin ratcheting the system. So right before I do this, I'm making sure that everything's where I want it. We're within that 10 and two position. I'm actually gonna slide this strap up just a little bit. Okay, so I went ahead and adjusted myself to make sure we're within that 10 and two position. Again, we're gonna go ahead and pull our slack through and we're gonna begin ratcheting. So notice how I'm keeping my hand in line with the ratchet system. Uh, again, my slack end that I'm talking about here. So I'm keeping it in line. Sometimes what I see people do is they hold the, ratchet, uh, the slack end to one side. And what that causes it uh, is it actually causes a bind because as this ratchet turns and pulls this slack through, it folds the strap one way or another. And that creates a bind, like I said. And that prevents your ratchet system from pulling all the slack in that it needs properly. So what we're gonna go ahead and wanna do is keep our strap in line with our ratchet and we're gonna wanna keep ratcheting it down. Now as I'm ratcheting, I'm inspecting, making sure that this is in the 10 and two position and that everything's working its way together. Okay, so that's a complete system. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is just make sure we're nice and tight. Now, one thing to note here that Vulcan has informed me of is that their system is designed for hand pressure only. So notice how I didn't get on the trailer and start cranking down really hard or get like a big pry bar and start cranking on this really hard. This system is designed for hand pressure and what Vulcan has informed me of is if you actually start doing those things where you're over tightening things, you're actually uselessly misusing the equipment by, provide, uh, by giving it actually additional stress that it doesn't need and that degrades the life of the equipment. So as you can see, we aren't squeezing the tire down really tight. We're not doing anything like that. Anything, that, anything like that that you might do, that will degrade the life of the strap system. So you just wanna make sure that you have hand pressure and that'll be more than enough to get you down the road safely in a safe manner. Okay, now that we've completed this ratchet system, now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take my slack in. And what I like to do with the slack in is I just like to fold it in half. So notice how I fold it in half there. And then I just take this bundle here and I put it right through the ratchet. So I open up this uh, little lever here, put it down through there and close the system. That'll hold the slack end nice and neat and it won't be flailing down the road, uh, potentially smacking your paint. I've seen that done before. Um, the slack end will slap the paint and it'll actually scratch it. So, so just make sure you secure your slack end one way or another. This is how I do it. Another thing we wanna go ahead and secure is the tail end of this chain. So I'm just gonna go ahead and slide it right there in the other chain slot and that'll secure that. Okay, now that we've completed this TH011 series on this particular tire, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is bring you in a little closer. We're gonna show you how it looks, show you how it turned out, and then we're gonna go ahead and finish all three other tires. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and take you in a little closer here. Notice how we take the universal ring, we go up and over the tire at the 10 position, and the strap is actually running on the back side. You can kind of see it right back through there, but it is important to note that that strap is running right along here on the back side of the tire, of course. It's not going over the top of the tire, anything like that. It's actually going behind the tire. And what happens here is the slack end comes out on the two position over here and goes back through the universal ring. Notice how we have the uh, wear protector in the universal ring, not on the outside. We have it in the universal ring. That comes straight down, no bends, no kinks, no nothing like that. Goes through the ratchet assembly, that's tight. Our slack is secured and our chain assembly is within our chain anchor there and our hook is secured. 
So with that being said, this is a complete system. I always like to give my tie downs a little shake, make sure we're nice and tight. Not too tight though, and we are complete, ready to go down the road. Okay guys, now that we brought you in a little closer to show you how this complete setup is, we are going to go ahead and do all three other tires. It is important to note that anytime you go down the road to be legal in the eyes of the DOT and your state, you must have four points of tie downs. This is a absolute requirement. You cannot get around this. Even though you might think it can uh, work with two tie downs, you need four to be legal. So make sure that you do have four uh, strap tie downs tying down your vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead and complete the other three. I'm gonna show you guys that via time lapse and then we're gonna go ahead and head down the road and see how it does. Okay guys, so that is how to use the TH011 series from Vulcan. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I know I did. It's a super easy and versatile system to use. If you guys are interested in any of the products used in today's series or any of the other series that will be coming up, please be sure to look down in the description for a link to Truck & Tow, which is their distributor for the Vulcan brand. Now that we have all four tie downs used and we've inspected and checked every single one of them to make sure that they're nice and tight, but again, not too tight, we're gonna go ahead and go down the road. So here we go. Thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching guys. Here we go.